Gardez monsieur ça mais. Non non non. Non 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 non. Gardez bouson ça mais. Baby, I I I know Bella gave you my number so you can threaten to perform child and groom it. Bakone kasusa. Kasusa. It's crazy as hell. Tread very lightly with me, baby. Tread very, very lightly with me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I know y'all sick of this heifer because so am I. But every time I turn around, more and more shit keep coming up about her that I think y'all should be updated on because at the end of the day, we have gotten a little invested into this shit show with with it being, you know, one of the biggest stories social media is talking about. Even the Rolling Stone talking about her ass now. So yeah. Like I said, I'm going to keep bringing you updates on this monster as long as it's something of substance, not any of those little funny fake skits they be doing on TikTok about her. So with that being said, guys, this is Michelle, Michelle Reed, and she's the cousin. Her cousin was in a relationship with Angela four years ago. Well, I'll just let her tell y'all. Hello, everybody. Once again, I'm back. I'm here to shed some light on my family story. My cousin dated Angela Van Dusen, aka BBW Leader Coat. Four years ago, she got my cousin locked up for eight years off a lie. I'm tired of being quiet. My family did not deserve that. We want justice for my cousin. She is innocent. She is innocent. And I'm not going to stop until she's free. Until her story comes out. Until Angela is in prison. Taking my cousin's place. I won't stop. So yes y'all. That was Michelle Reed. Her cousin is this woman here uh barbara mccarter she used to be in a relationship with angela and from what the cousin says her family they never trusted angela they always told her you know they told the cousin to be careful of her check this out is this michelle yes this is me hi michelle this is kiva you sent me the email hey how you doing i'm fine is this a bad time to talk no, this is the time. My kids is in the bed. <laughs> okay, okay. So, first of all, I, I'm sorry that you are going through this. Um, Man, it's been four years. She got my cousin locked up. My cousin is going over eight years in prison because of lies she told. So, how did you find about her, like, my video? Like, how did you know? Is it because she's in the media? Yeah, I had found out about... I didn't even know nothing about the call or nothing until... My cousin's sister shared it on her page. Okay. And that's when I found out that she was involved in all of this stuff. And I'm like, this is the same female that lied on my cousin and got her prison time over eight years because of her lies. Girl, okay. So, is um now, do you want me to put this on my channel and spread awareness? Or, I mean, what would you like for me to do? You can. You can put it on your page to share awareness. I also made a petition to, to try to get my cousin out of prison because, you know, she was locked up. Okay. I said, you got a 586 number, so you know how Michigan is. Yeah. Because you're from Michigan. She was in Oakland County. You know it's not no love from a little bro girl in Oakland County that don't know Absolutely. Love. Absolutely. Link, email me the petition so I can share it to my page and my social medias. Now, and I, I would love to share the story. So if you don't mind, can we kind of go... Like how it started and how it ended, like what transpired to get them to where they are. All I know is my cousin. We call her BA. Her name, okay. her name is Barbara McCarter. Okay. Or we call her Moop or BA. Okay. Uh, my cousin had met this chick Angela. She had been dealing with her for a couple of months. Okay. 
every time my cousin would go out to Waterford with her, they end up getting into it, and she would try to keep my cousin out there and her do all this bullshit. You know, excuse my friends. I love you. Mm-hmm. you know? and, and I told my cousin, leave her alone. I didn't like her because of the fact that she tried to get her all the way out there. You know, we west side and she get her all the way out there and started tri- tripping on her shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I told my cousin, like, leave the bitch alone because she obviously can't get him on. So one day, B.A. went out there with her this one particular night. I guess they must have got into it because she got she got mad and she called my cousin texting another bitch. She called your cousin texting another female? Yes. Okay. And when she did, when she called my cousin texting another female, she called the police on my cousin right there. And told the motherfucker that she, she had her a nice point and raped her. So, yes. I'm not going to play the entire video. If you guys want to see the entire video of what the cousin had to say, y'all can go on over to Kiva's channel where I come get this commentary and check it out. Like I said in my last video, Kiva, she got a whole playlist over there of how this, you know, how this, um, whole thing unfolded. So when y'all do go over there, grab y'all some popcorn. And see how all this unfolded. But during that short interview with the cousin, the cousin mentioned that she will be coming back on Kiva's channel to do an exclusive interview with Kiva. So I will be keeping you guys posted on that. Anywho, yes, guys, the cousin does, uh, the family, they do have a petition to help their cousin, Barbara McCarter to get like attorney fees, you know, in hopes to have her case overturned or even dropped because the family feels like at the end of the day, the police dropped the ball as well. You know, they didn't even have Angela do a R kit and fat guy. She refused it. She did, She refused it at the time, you know, and the cousin, you know, and Barbara was still sentenced to eight years. So for me, I'm just wondering, like, if this isn't resolved and the cousin end up completing her full eight year term in prison, does she have to come home and register? I don't know. That was just the question I had. But, you know, because at the end of the day, this is another life Angela ruined. If this is, you know, if this isn't true, she ruined another life, guys. Because from what that cousin said, Angela has been messy, 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 y'all. So go on over to, you know, to Kiva's channel where I come get this commentary and listen to it all. And I will be putting the petition in my description box for anyone, you know, that want to sign the petition as well as read as, you know, read what the cousin had to say. But with that being said, guys, Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And hit that notification bell so you'll be sure to see when I drop new videos and bring you more content. And guys, follow my Instagram, Twitter, and join my Facebook at sis- all at Sister Girl Talk TV. Bye.